Hey everybody, I'm the Ranting Monkey, and today we're going to talk about a bunch of morons. Like most of you, I have bad habits. I do things I know are not good for me, but for some reason I can't make myself stop. Twitter is near the very top of this list. Every damn time I open that application, I find something that annoys the hell out of me. But I still love it. I feed off of it. However, occasionally I see things that just make me angry. I know as a man I'm supposed to express every emotion except for anger, but as a man sometimes I just can't help that either. This is one of those times. Here on YouTube, we're not supposed to say the name of the virus that I have to talk about in order for this video to make sense. But, since I'm not a child or a raging pussy, I'm going to say it. Coronavirus, China virus, Wuhan virus, whatever the fuck you want to call it, it has caused a lot of disruption in our lives. The country's on lockdown, the economy's been shut off, and some Americans are getting fed up with it. If you watch my live streams, you know that when this pandemic first started, I warned everybody to pay attention to what your government is doing as the pandemic plays out. This is the kind of thing that leads to rights being taken away. Bad laws get passed, powers grabbed, and we get butt-fucked without lube. Think I'm being hyperbolic? Consider the case of Raleigh, North Carolina, where the state decided they have the power to suspend the Constitution. Yesterday, a group called Reopen NC got together to protest the government-mandated shutdown of the state. The Raleigh police had a response, and they told us all about it in a series of tweets. We are aware of the hashtag Ra Oh, sorry, wrong accent. <clears throat> we are aware of the hashtag ReopenNC protest that is occurring in downtown Raleigh on Wilmington and Jones Street and are monitoring the situation. Protesters being monitored by the police is nothing new. Sometimes these things get out of hand. No big deal. But these fucking morons aren't done yet. Protesters are in violation of the governor's executive order and have been asked to leave. I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just say? Peaceful protesters being told to leave. Alright. But it gets even worse when a Twitter user named Thos asks this. What part of the governor's order was violated here? When I read the Raleigh police response, I actually said, fuck you, out loud. Protesting is a non-essential activity. Once again... Fuck you. From the bottom of my heart, just fuck you. The right to peacefully assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances is not something the governor can just suspend. It's in the fucking Constitution. The first fucking amendment, you fascist cocksuckers. I'm not defending the people protesting. To be frank, I think most protests are about as pointless as nipples on men. And don't even get me started on those Antifa riots excused by labeling them as protests. Actual protest is our natural right. It's not something the government can take. It's not within their power. Governor Cooper might not be a fascist, but he's certainly playing one. A lot of governors are. I have the misfortune of living in a state run by a woman who won on her looks and not her brains, and it's really showing right now. Gretchen, look how cute I am, Whitmer. Couldn't be fucking this up any worse if she was actually sucking dick for ideas. You got a corona plan, man? I will suck your dick. But as bad as she is, even she hasn't come out and said the Constitution doesn't fucking matter. One lady was arrested for this peaceful protest. Everyone else was told to take their asses home with no real explanation of what law was being broken. A YouTuber who lived close decided to go down there and check out the situation. You guys broke up the event? Yes, sir. How come? It's not my call. <laughs> well, I know, but if you could answer why. You don't know what. Hey, why'd they break up the rally? It's an executive order, sir. You have to keep moving, sir. I have to keep Please. moving? Yes, sir. Why Why is that? I'm not here for this right now. Is there anybody here that can talk? Just, we're, we're clearing the area for safety right now, sir. What, what danger is being presented right now? I understand, but can anybody tell me what's, what's I did going tell on? You. I told you to disperse. Thank I understand that. You told me to disperse, but day, you didn't sir. tell me what law is being broken right now. Have a good day. What is the violation? Can somebody please explain to me what the violation is today? Can any law enforcement officer here tell me which law is being broken today? That's all I'm asking. He said you can go get food. He 
you see if you can go get water or medical attention. You're not doing either of the three, so keep walking, please. These fucking cops not only can't tell this guy what laws were broken, the police start getting angry and acting threatening towards him. The only danger there at that moment was the police. And no, I'm just following orders isn't an excuse. Yes, the asshole politicians who push this nonsense have blame. But so do the police who follow orders that blatantly violate the constitutional rights of citizens who weren't hurting anything or any person. The Raleigh police got so much pushback, they actually issued a statement explaining what happened. The goal of the Raleigh Police Department is to help residents remain as safe as possible during the COVID-19 pandemic by reminding them to observe the Wake County Stay-at-Home Proclamation and the Governor's Executive Orders. In these unprecedented times and unusual circumstances, both the governor and the county have declared a state of emergency. Under these current and temporary declarations, protesting is not listed as an essential function. The Wake County District Attorney is the individual who decides charging language for failure to adhere to the governor's orders in the Wake County Proclamation, when charging is appropriate, and what charges individuals may face for violating either one of these orders. However, as a law enforcement agency, the Raleigh Police Department is bound to carry out the regulations stipulated in the executive order and the Wake County Proclamation. But more important is the health and wellness of all who live in our community, including the officers who must engage in circumstances such as these. We simply want everyone to be safe during this very serious public health crisis. Any questions related to the arrest at the protest at the state capitol should be directed to the arresting agency, the state capitol police. Ain't that a bitch? In these unprecedented and unusual times, protesting isn't listed as an essential function under these current and temporary declarations. Go fuck yourself. The Constitution says fuck all about your goddamn unusual circumstances. And before some history nerd comes along and tells me our rights have been suspended in the past, you can go fuck yourself too. Just because it happened in the past doesn't mean it should happen now or ever again. Do I really need to list off all of the horrible shit our country has done before that we shit ourselves over now? This is a blatant violation of the rights of the citizens of Raleigh, and the declaration that our natural rights have been suspended is bullshit. Utter, unbelievable, fuck-tarded bullshit. I wouldn't have gone to this protest. I agree we need to start opening things or the economic consequences are going to be catastrophic. Hell, I don't think closing things down was the right move to begin with. But I do think social distancing is a good idea. We panicked and we went to the extreme and the recovery is going to hurt like hell. But I think keeping some distance is a good idea. I think avoiding crowds is a good idea. I think this protest was pointless and dumb. But we don't suspend the Constitution because people are stupid. It's their right to be stupid. And in this case, it is their constitutionally guaranteed right to be stupid. What happened here is a fucking disgrace. From the Raleigh police all the way up to Governor Limp Dick, everyone involved should be run out of the state. And if you aren't mad about this, why not? Our rights aren't something a government gives us. They're ours. Even if you don't use them, they're yours. Government can only take them away. And once they do, getting them back is about as likely as CNN doing a positive story on the president. Fuck the Raleigh police and Governor Cooper. Man, I should really stay the hell off Twitter. That's going to wrap up this one, guys. As always, links are below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Ranting Monkey, and I'll see you next time. Your life makes me sad.